It's not a regular tour, no, it's a studio tour, so come show us your stuff. Hi, I'm Soft Servo. My name's Ben, and I'm doing a studio tour for some reason. So, um, this is my dog. His name is Sherlock. He's a good boy. I'm going to try to stay away from the Gear Nerd Show Off stuff too much, except where I think it's cool or relevant or different from what a lot of people are doing. Um, this isn't sound gear, but this is a skeleton lamp I made. Um, I saw that somebody was making these, and they were expensive. So I went on eBay and I found a really good deal on a skeleton, like for a hospital doctor's school, and bought it. It's cool. Um, my kids named him Scully. Uh, this is my longsword because I study longsword fighting. Um, so don't dox me and come to my house because I'll beat your ass with a sword. Uh, these are my ukuleles. The ukuleles are great. Um, this is the actual studio space, but I'm going to come back to it real quick. I'm going to show off. Uh, this is my guitar that I made. Um, many, many years ago, uh, it doesn't really work, and it only has four strings on it. It's like tuned to an open chord. Um, this is my bass, which is an Ibanez something that was nice when I got it way back in uh, whenever, sometime in the 90s. Um, I've had it for a very long time. I like it a lot. It sounds really good. This is my living room, by the way. My studio used to be in my basement. But when it was, I didn't go down there to make music because I was separating myself from my family and everybody. Um, and so I just never went down there. So it's up here now taking up space and my wife is cool and lets me do it. Um, I like my wife. This is my computer, which has computer parts in it, I think. I don't know a lot about computers. Here's my drawers for cables. So I've got different kinds of cables here. Um, if you haven't already, if you're not already labeling your power bricks, that's, that's a good idea to label all your power bricks. Um, headphones. So I use Koss uh, Pro 4 AA headphones and I love them. Binder clips. Get a box of binder clips because uh, they're useful for so much shit. For example, here's a cable that I've, I've fastened with a binder clip so that it doesn't get all tangled. Seltzer water, which is my beer replacement. I still drink beer, I just don't drink as much because now I have seltzer water. Um, this is where I sit and look at YouTube and shop for things I can't afford. Um, I don't make a whole lot of music on the computer. Uh, when I do, I use Ableton to record my... V uh, mostly for mastering. I don't record a whole lot into Ableton or write a whole lot in Ableton. I used to use Reason but um, I don't anymore. And then I do my videos in this program called Filmora, which is really easy to obtain. So here's my notebook. So it's um, pretty cool, because I have, it actually contains like three different notebooks, and I have in the back graph paper, and this is where I do plans and ideas for stuff. This is a brand new one. It only has one plan in it, but that's for a table I want to build. A calendar. And then I've got a regular one for just like notes when you want to write stuff down. But that's like always with me. Um, coffee, you have to drink a lot of coffee. Um, and if you don't, then I don't understand you. This is the best coffee mug ever because this part lifts off with a magnet. And so you can actually wash it. Washing things is cool. I like this chair's in the fucking. I'm gonna have to edit this a lot. I, got, I bought a cable hanger. And when I was doing a lot more modular, and it's really cool, and people like to admire it, I made a passive MIDI through box. It has the inch, quarter, half, three um, stereo mini jack MIDI standard. And then I will put MIDIs into that. This light's great. I like it. Um, so I'm obsessed with putting things in kits and boxes and shit. But I'm not going to talk about that yet. First I'm going to show you. This is where I keep all my toy keyboards. 
Let's, let's talk about my toy keyboards. So I got this Casio that I just put an output and a volume on. I like the way this sounds. It's one of the Magical Light ones and it's got some neat stuff. Um, I've got an SK1 that I don't want to circuit bend. I got this one that you can actually get new on Amazon and I love it. And I got the same MIDI keyboard that like everybody has. Um, it's good. When I make music, I like to do physical media, but nobody buys it, so I got a box full of CDs and tapes and stickers, and a Happy Ghost price tag, um, which just hides under my desk, and then sometimes I give them away. So kits, boxes, oh, standing up. So it was very important to me that, that all of my main music setups can be like packed up and portable. Because um, I like to play live, even though I don't get to do it that much. So this thing, my friend calls it the Beep Boop Box. And this is actually the bigger, better Beep Boop Box version 2. So this is a nifty old suitcase that I found at Goodwill. And... Um, you know, I've got modular and Volcas and a mixer and a thing. Everything runs through a compressor, and it's made my music sound a lot better. So, like, buy a compressor and then put your main outputs from the speaker into the compressor and just put it on top of everything and, and just fuck with it, and you'll find that you like it or that you don't. I don't know. You're not me. Um, in case of emergency, you can exit. Um, this thing is cool. This is called a time timer, and it's you you move this little bulb like like that, and then the 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 thing shrinks, and you get um, tells you how much time is left. So when I'm practicing a, a live set or something, um, I usually make notes where I break things down. Like I want this section to be about seven minutes long or whatever, and so then that helps me. Um, like this combined with a piece of paper with the set list written on it helps me figure out how much time I'm spending on things. Oh, guys, here's my here's my cat. I really like my cat. This can close patched. Uh, the the power cable comes out, and then the audio cables come out. But um, when those aren't in there, this whole thing will close, and then it's just one piece. Everything's velcroed down securely enough that I can throw this in the car. <laughs> And um, I don't like taking forever to set up, so um, that's important. If you already play live a lot, you already know that. And if you aren't interested in playing live, you probably don't care. I have a, a one of the outputs from here going into the Critter Guitari thing, and um, that's going into this HDMI TV. It's kind of funny that a shitty old HDMI TV is easier to come across than a shitty old CRT TV because I can't seem to find a little CRT TV that would fit in that spot. I got a 4-track that um, I mostly use it for tape looping and tape looping is cool which I'll sample and then lay over lay other things over and I'm going to talk about how I multi-track in a second because I think that's different from how lots of people do it. Usually when I record on all this stuff um, I just record directly to the zoom and then you can actually do four track recordings on this where you do you can do overdubbing recordings and I find that more productive I'd get more shit done with that because when I try to get shit done with this I wind up looking at Amazon and YouTube before I got the zoom this is a drawer full of shit oh man if you're a DIYer and you play live get a butane powered soldering iron for repairs. Indispensable. Heats up super quick. You don't need to find a plug. Here's my binder clips. I love binder clips. I used to record to a Sony voice recorder. It's got a, a line in. Um, and I was like, this is fine. But it doesn't do the overdub multi-track. And also, when I bought this, the, the quality of the sounds of recordings I was making went up a lot. 
So um, these are worth it, really, really worth it. And when I do need an audio interface to record into the computer, um, I got that idea from Simon, the magpie himself. Um, I use this as my audio interface, um, which is fine because I don't need an audio interface very much. And when I do, this works beautifully beautifully my friend made this from like a cast of a raccoon skull I like skulls and skeletons here's another skull um, this one is the skull from my lamp uh, and I'm not a brony but my brother is my obsession right now is the OPZ because um, I just got it and I'm gonna set this down uh, so like I put this handle on my zoom to try and get rid of the handling noise and we're going to find out how well that, that works because analog weapon talked about getting a shock mount and I don't have one I couldn't figure out how to build one so I just put it on a little camera tripod so if it works you can admire me um, this is a picture of Uranus on my iPad oh my daughter and I were making slime and that's slime videos so uh, reason figure this app is really cool um, if you have an iPad, it's it's cool. I like it. You can do that. Um, here are my Magic the Gathering decks. I, I play Ten Rack in Modern a lot. I like I like that. I have some microphones. This one sucks. Um, it's they're Behringer microphones. Um, don't buy this one. It kind of sucks. Um, and I just keep them in the boxes they came in here and I just pull them out when I need them because I don't need microphones that often with the kind of stuff I do. Maybe I should use them more. These are much better uh, and they cost about the same and you get a pair of them. Uh, C2 condensers. I like those. Um, they're, they're phantom powered and they're, they're, they sound pretty darn good and they come with a neat little clippy. Adeptus Mechanicus for life. Here's some stuff I built. A couple of passive mixers, which are really handy. Um, anything that just splits audio signals in weird ways, I collect that stuff. Um, this is a MIDI controller I built out of an Arduino for the, the Volca sample. So I, I wrote the code, and it, what it does is it sends each note on a different channel, so you can do finger drumming with the Volca sample. Uh, then I learned I suck at finger drumming. Um, oh, there's my daughter. What are you doing? Go back downstairs. Still doing the video. I know. Can I watch? No, because YouTube has this policy about putting minors in your videos. Yeah. I know. I'll go outside, and then you'll tell me when you're done. That's, that sounds like a plan. Ah! Sorry. Then I can watch a little more videos. Oh, okay. And then I don't want videos. Okay. okay. Smoky amp. This thing's badass. There's an Arduino. Um, some monkeys. Um, I... Castlevania 4, which came in the box with the, the manual. I got that for Christmas. This is just some stuff. I'm going to go through this. This is another beat boot box. This is the mini beat boot box with my minimal setup in it, and I'll show you how I do that. Um, for videos, I, I've been chasing the idea of, of doing having like a pristine like field with hands and good lighting and stuff. So I got this little light that's got a, an LED bulb in it. Um, and some tissues over it to diffuse the light and um, the GoPro the lens fits in one of these holes like that and and you can frame everything up and it looks really nice that's what it looks like it's gonna I'm working on another rig and I'll show that in a second um, to get the the shadows to get the shadows even more diffused um, this isn't real it's fake but I thought it might be a neat bait and switch to put in a video to get viewers and subscribers and people to smash the like button um, if they think I have a black lotus um, but I don't so this is the mini beat boot box which was kind of my obsession before I got the OPZ um, and it's got everything in here to do techno so there's a castle monotron little mixer PO if you have pocket operators that you like um, shit. The, the, there's this guy that makes these cases I don't remember what he's called 
um, these cases are fantastic because it just it feels so good. It makes the machine much more usable, especially if you have big hairy hands like me. Baby patch cables for the castle, and then I've got my um, Game Boy with the LSDJ cart in here. And um, this bag has all the cables in it, but what I do is I'll run a link cable from here into, out of here, because LSDJ's got analog out now, into the pocket operator um, and maybe the dude, depending on what I'm doing. And um, this is the, the master clock. And then I have, you know, synths and bass in here, and then I've got drums in here. And then this just makes noise and shit. And it's fun. I've done a couple of videos with it, so you can look at my channel if you want to see what I do with them. Um, I like it. And I also like it because my fetish is things that come in little boxes and are little self-contained kits that do that have all the stuff in them. See this this um, gives me this is my version of a most strangely satisfying video. Finally like books and art are important right so here's a bunch of books that I have. Uh, Reason 2.5 power tools that shows how long ago I kept Reason 2.5 because I didn't have the money to upgrade. Um, how to play banjo Journal, TI-84, user manual, um, campaign setting book that I'm part of, Magic the Gathering cards, and my watercolor. I should show you watercolor painting. So I like to paint even if I'm no good at it. So this is for my Dungeons and Dragons. And Simon Fur thing, another thing that is an album cover, and then this which is made from a dollar. And that's all that's in this one right now. You should get a paint set. If you don't have a paint set. Um, look how little that is. Some other guy, I think his name was Joey, posted and he had like buckets of paint shit and I don't. Um, but you don't need buckets of paint shit to paint. I'm going to edit out the part of me walking down the stairs to show you what I have down the stairs. Um, I definitely will edit out where the dog pooped on the floor. Right, so this is my basement buildy spot. Um, so I'm working on some things down here. Down here in my basement now. Um, I've got a, an old Mac that I'm not using for anything, but I should maybe use it. I don't buy these things, by the way. I, I trade for them or um, um, acquire them somehow. Um, there's not a whole lot to show off. This is where I build stuff and modify things. Um, and it's it's a big mess because I'm in between projects. It always is in between projects. All my components are organized in one of those. I have a bucket where I salvage old wires. Um, I've got a, a box here full of old PCBs and things uh, that I want to bend but haven't yet. Um, there's a little Buddha. There's a fantastic, fantastic book Highly recommended, Pocket Ref by Thomas J. Glover. There's one that's just electronics uh, facts, but it's for some reason stupid. It must be out of print. This is the second version of my, my hands in a table. So um, I like the idea of doing things for cheap and without any professional tools or knowledge because um, I like cheapening what other people have spent their hard-earned money and valuable time um, doing by doing it myself without any, without any clue what I'm doing. Um, so this is going to hold the camera, it's clamp and a desk I got out of a dumpster and, um, a soft box I made out of a work light and a bed sheet and that's a piece of foil and it's got a daylight LED bulb that bounces and refracts the light like this and then it comes out and it's all soft so that you have um, good quality soft shadows at least see it'll be like that now see those lines I can't figure those lines out I think it has to do with this lamp um, or maybe the fact that I, I'm filming this on a shitty GoPro clone knockoff that god I've already filmed 20 minutes I'm gonna have to edit so much shit 
I, I rigged all this crap out of PVC pipe that I had laying around because I'm a hoarder and I don't throw stuff away. Oh, God. Um, it's clamped onto the desk. Um, that's clamped onto... It's all clamped. Clamps are great. Buy some clamps um, and some binder clips. Um, anyway, that's, that's all that's down here, really. There's the dog again. I think he needs to pee. I should probably take the dog outside to pee. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching my beautiful home studio tour. I hope that you have a good day.